Hello and welcome to the AVX product video series. In this video, you will learn what is the FortiGate VM, what is high availability HA with two FortiGate VMs, what is the network topology, how to configure HA on the FortiGate VMs, and how to test the deployment. A FortiGate VM is a next generation firewall from Fortinet that offers flexible deployments from the network edge to the core, data center internal segment, and the cloud. The FortiGate VM will be deployed on the AVX as a VA instance. In the FortiGate Active Passive HA, the FortiGate Clustering Protocol, FGCP, provides failover protection. This means that an Active Passive cluster can provide FortiGate services when one of the cluster unit encounters a problem that would result in a complete loss of connectivity for a standalone FortiGate. Here is a network topology for the FortiGate VM. HA on AVX deployment. This topology has the following key components. Two AVX appliances, two FortiGate VM firewalls, one FortiGate is deployed on each AVX. Each FortiGate VM has an ingress and egress port for traffic. Each FortiGate VM has a heartbeat port that monitors the HA status. This port is a virtual port on the AVX virtual switch that is bound to a physical port on the AVX appliance. There are four basic steps to configuring HA on the FortiGate VMs. Step one, configure AVX appliances. Step two, deploy and configure FortiGate VMs on both AVX appliances. Step three, configure FortiGate one for HA on AVX one. And step four, configure FortiGate two for HA on AVX two. Let's now jump to the AVX web UIs. On the screen are my two AVXs. On the left hand side is AVX number one running a medium sized FortiGate. On the right hand side is AVX number two running a identical medium sized FortiGate. Let's go ahead and now jump to the FortiGate web UIs. On the screen you can see the two FortiGate web UIs. On the left hand side is 909 which is, will be our master or active FortiGate. On the right hand side is 910, which will be our slave or passive FortiGate. Let's proceed with the configuration of FortiGate 909. Navigate to the HA section. We're going to change our mode to active passive. We've selected a device priority of 250 to indicate the master. We have a group name of FGHA and we have port 1 designated as our heartbeat interface. Let's select OK. This will take a few minutes to add to the HA cluster. Let's wait. OK, it's done. Let's proceed next with configuring the slave or passive FortiGate. This is our second FortiGate, 910. Let's go ahead and configure this as our slave or passive FortiGate. Let's navigate to our HA section. Change our mode from standalone to active passive. Note the device priority is 50, a lower value than our master or active, same group name FG-HA, and port 1 is our heartbeat interface. Let's click OK. This will also take a few minutes to be added to the HA cluster. During this time we will lose connectivity to this web UI. To view the status, let's jump over to our master or active FortiGate web UI and we'll refresh the screen. Okay, there's still a red X, so this will take a few more seconds to be added to the cluster. Okay, after a few minutes, the second FortiGate has now been added to the cluster. Notice the master in the top and the slave on the bottom. Let's now proceed with testing the deployment. 
Okay, to test the HA deployment, we've logged on to the uh, consoles on both FortiGates. On our left hand side is FortiGate 909, which is our master or active device. On our right hand side is our slave or passive 910. We're going to simulate a failure of the master device by rebooting the device. Okay, the system is rebooting. Let's go to the right hand side and let's get a system update of the HA. Notice below the master is now 910. Congratulations, you have just configured and deployed FortiGate VM HA on the AVX platform. To conclude this video for the FortiGate VM HA on the AVX, you have just learned what is the FortiGate VM, what is high availability HA with two FortiGate VMs, what is the network topology, how to configure HA on the FortiGate VMs, and how to test the deployment. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for our next video on the AVX product.